When we arrived into this modern era of feeder fishing, um, we started to travel and we started to travel into Europe and see anglers that we'd never seen before and it was amazing the difference in how they fished and the tackle that they used. I mean, nobody uses anything but braid on the continent and that were, a, you know, we'd used it odd times for bream and things like that but it, it was interesting that people there used it 100% of the time and the way that the fish and the ground baits and the type of rods that they used, it were all a bit of an eye opener. We learned so much and we were like sponges soaking all that up. But on my travels, one thing that I saw that I thought were a fantastic product was what they call a wet box, which is a storage, plastic storage container that they've converted to fit on the side of your seat box, like a side tray. But it, as the name suggests, it's a storage box with a lid designed to keep the, the weather out, basically, the, the wind and the rain, and sometimes even the sun. But on the continent, those anglers had got this off to a fine art and basically they prepare their uh, equipment, if you like, inside the storage box at home, in the garage, in the workshop, in the tackle room, to the point where they use lots of additives and they use lots of liquids and flavours and colourings and things like that. They even have a little storage area in there for that, so they can load that up depending on where they're going. They put the bowls and they put the ground bit in there. Some of them put the ground bit in there with a sealed lid on. And I thought, wow, what a fantastic idea that is. Uh, we were using open side trays and more often not sticking a towel over the top of our ground bait to keep it away from the elements and things like that. So first thing I did when I came home was to grab one of these storage boxes and fashion one up like I'd done and I had to find some hinges to uh, make the lid work and, and basically fasten it onto an old side tray that I'd got so it fitted onto my legs and I thought it was fantastic. And I fished away with that and um, off I went and it was perfect for natural water fishing when you're out in, you know, in all weathers and feeder fishing especially. And one of the places that I thought it'd be brilliant for was when we went to Ireland. And so um, I actually made one for myself and my travelling partner Tommy, at the t you know, when we went over to Ireland. But the first thing I realised was it was brilliant for fishing, but transporting it and storing it was a massive problem. Two of those in the back of the van took half the van up. And the other thing is that the difference where I realised very quickly between ourselves and our continental counterparts is that... In Europe, more often than not, they're fishing big canals and rivers, which have got transport systems that run alongside of them, basically a road. So they park the vehicle right at the back of the, the, the peg, really, and all they've got to do is take out the box, walk down to the peg and stick it on, whereas we had to load it onto our trolleys, and if we were fishing a river or in Ireland, you've got a barra, it was just big and bulky. Anyway, I, I persevered with it, but the, the product and the idea and the concept were so good that I felt I had to kind of take that one step further and... Transport being the issue, I came up with a solution which was the collapsible Aqualock side tray, which, as I now know, is the new fish Aqualock. And it was the first of its kind on the market. So I think back in 2014, when we fished uh, at the Enniscarra World Championships, I had one of these prototypes on, on my uh, side tray, on my seat box. And we kept the obvious uh, fundamental things, which were the lid, but I converted these piston style arms which you can tension because they've got little knurled nuts that have got grippers on so if it's windy you can just nip it up so it doesn't blow about in the wind but if you can't if it's raining I just slacken them off a little bit so that you can flick it up and down it'll just stay there it'll stay there but you can pop it down so it's not a chore to um, close and open the lid so they've got nice little adjustable arms on them like that the first version we didn't have a pocket but we quickly realized that you know, you put everything in there. I have my scissors in there and I keep my mobile phone in there, my stopwatch. Uh, I'm always mindful to make sure that I take my mobile phone out before I tip it upside down to, to empty the rubbish out at the end of the day. But the most important thing that we uh, actually did was to create the soft bottom. Now we made it from this hard, durable, waterproof material and we made uh, some massive improvements over the first few prototypes with that. This, it's got a webbing all the way around the corner so it's durable. It's got holes uh, in the bottom of this uh, main compartment so it'll drain away. If you spill and you need to wash it out, you can, you can do that. And it keeps all your bait and all your tackle nice and dry. One of the most important things for me that it had to be sturdy because you can't always use a support leg. So if I'm sat on a platform out in a reservoir or in Ireland or on the river, I need to be able to use this because sometimes it's a long way down to the bottom so a legs just too long so we developed the brackets that hold it to the seat box which are multi-functioning they fit all types of legs 
and we made it so that this would support itself. I mean, we've tested it up to 20 kilos and, you know, if you wanted to lean on it or sit on it or, you know, use it as a, as a, <laughs> as a seat, you'd have to put a, a, a support leg in it, but you don't. To fish with, it's perfect. But as I've just said, it has a collapsible bottom and the most important thing, because the biggest issue was transportation, when you finish fishing, that'll just fall flat. That goes down to 30 mil. In fact, I think the thickest part of the product is actually the side tray clamps that come with it. So it'll fall flat, it'll pack onto your trolley. You can put it into your big uh, storage bag, into your net bag, and it'll pack away into your van and it's not obtrusive. It's It's been an amazing product and you know something we're really proud of at New Fish. And not just this product on its own, which is the original Aqualock side tray, but there's an Aqualock combi, which is a double section side tray that Paul Anglers prefer, which has got a mesh, normal standard mesh type side tray on the front of it and a covered area at the back. We've also done a slim rear side tray, so Aqualock slim. That's been a massive success. That's great to use in combination with this. And not only that, but we've developed other trays using the same self-supporting bracket system. It's been an amazing range of products and it's really, really done as proud as a brand. And it's served anglers well. I mean, I've seen anglers with these, they've used them, they've abused them, they never clean them, they just keep tipping the bait in, there's rotten worms in the bottom and everything, but they've stood the test of time. They're hard wearing, they're durable, they keep your tackle dry, they keep your bait safe, they keep everything nice and neat what would you what's what's not to like it's been a brilliant product and it continues to serve us really well the new fish aqua lock is an amazing piece of kit